Let's have a bit of a look here. Oh, here we go. <sighs> live, live, live to the world. Hey, how are you? Well, look at this, eh? Um, I'm going to take this uh, FA-18 through the Colorado Rockies, which would be a um, pretty interesting flight. Um, it'll be really interesting, actually, because I'll be going um, low level, you know, straight over the road. And uh, there's lots of twists and turns and all sorts of stuff there um, to uh, to try and um, maneuver around. It should be pretty interesting, actually. Um, let's have a little bit of a look here. Let's have a look outside, shall we? I'll go over here and have a bit of a look outside. Have a look at that. That's a pretty cool looking plane, eh? Look at this thing here. Fantastic. Fantastic. Man, that thing, that thing. Yeah, mate, I did buy a jet, and I'm uh, I'm just giving it a test drive before I give him the final check, mate, you know. <laughs> Should be pretty interesting. How are you, Max? Yeah, good to see you, man. <clears throat> hey, Mike, how are you? Thanks for joining. Ah, oh, it's just a little bit of a muck around today, really, on flight sim. Pretty impressed with this. Oh, this update here. It's come through, and you've got the FA18 here, mate. You know, I don't mind that at all. Looks pretty cool. But uh, as I said, what I'm going to be doing is taking off from here from Denver, um, and I'm going to rip round to uh, oh, the entrance into there to the uh, Rockies, and I'm going to do some low level, low level uh, over the roads there, and see if I can negotiate these roads in this bloody jet. That'll be interesting. Doing good, mate. I hope the same. Yes, mate. Yes, absolutely doing fine here. <clears throat> so, uh, let's have a look. Oh, Don, how are you, man? Um, from here? Yes, yes, from Denver. I'd make your joint uh, on one tank, I should imagine. Hope I've got unlimited fuel set off. Um, I don't want to be ditching this thing in the middle of the Rockies. So, you know what? Let's, let's take this off, shall we, and have a little bit of a look. <laughs> I hope you got at least a 6S there, mate. Uh, you're going to probably need that. <laughs> Is it a costly game? Well, no, not really, mate. It's, um... There's a couple of different packs you can get. I think, well, there's a standard pack and there's a the pack that I got. Look, I don't know. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It was, like, back in 2020... Uh, when it came out, I think like August or September. Multitudes, multitude of updates since then. Um, look, it's under, uh, I'm going to say, well, Australian, I might say 140, something like that, maybe. So maybe around about 90 to 100 bucks there for uh, US, some kind of money. Um, there's lots of people. Um, who um, are in the droning area who, who've actually got this you know BMAX got it and um, a few others uh, Eden Valley drones has got one um, and every now and again me and Eden Valley pop together and we have a little bit of a flight <coughs> but anyway let, let's take this off shall we and see if I can crash this thing into the side of the mountain let's hope not this thing here is just crazy crazy quick um <coughs> Where is this bloody thing here? Okay, just doing a quick pre-trip flight. Don't forget your parachute. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what, I knack is the size of bloody elephants to take off in one of these things, I think. All right, let's move this microphone over a little bit so I can get a little bit more access and move the joystick over. Thank you very much. Let's release those brakes. Um, it's got automatic flaps by the looks. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Off we go. All right. <coughs> 
I've got a little bit of an issue with a rudder on this. It keeps twitching on me for some reason. Uh, let's look at this airspeed here. 140, that'll do. I'll pull that back there. Let's get up there. Oh, look at those afterburners. Straight into sports mode. Look at that shit. Alright, up we go. Put those legs up. Look, where am I going? out a little bit. Did you remember to put the SD card? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, Dave, I have had a couple, eh? Anyway, whoops. Look, I've got to try and find Denver City, because that's sort of like my landmark to where I want to enter the Rockies. Night train! Oh, good on ya. Good on ya, Michael. Yeah, mate. Come on, watch that. All right. Oh, actually, while we're flying, let's have a little bit of a look here, shall we? Zoom right in and check out Captain Mudguts here. Look at this. Where is he? I'm over here, mate. You who? Have a look at that detail. He's having a bit of a look around. I probably wouldn't be as calm. Look at that, eh? I hope you've got your spew bag, mate, because you're going to need it today. Yeah, we're coming over here now. I hope he's got his G-suit on. He'll be definitely needing that too. Well, what a nice aircraft. Look at that. It's beautiful. My goodness. Oh, okay. Well, there's Denver. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, Adrian! Yeah, no worries, mate. Maybe if you do a bit of flight simulator, you might learn how to fly. Adrian, so uh, give him a crack, eh? <laughs> I'm going to throttle this thing out. Let's have a look and see if I can follow a road. I think that's the road there I want. Let's pull that throttle back a bit. Alright. I think that's the road. I think that's the cutting up there I want. Let's just pull that up a bit and have a bit of a look. Only doing 580 knots. There we go. Alright, forgive me if I stop talking for a little bit. Imagine being in the cars here. Oh my god. Let's pull that up. Have a look where that cutting is. I think it's there. I think it's there. It's got a wind turbine on it. So, that's the road I want. Is this the entrance here? I think it might be. It's a road anyway. definitely not the road I want but anyway let's have a little bit of a look here I'll get through these cuttings pop into the chat, good on ya. Just having a little bit of a look here though. Underbag, mate. I'll tell you what. I would have thrown me guts up by now. Okay, what do we got here? That's better. 
Okay, this is actually the road I'm looking for, I think. Here we go. That's better. They'd be scaring the shit out of everyone in those cars. I'm not sort of watching the chat at the moment. Uh, Watch this radio would shut up. This is in sports mode, Adrian. So, just flicked it over a second ago, mate. Down there. Down there. A little bit of left brother there oh my god you gotta hang on to it um some oop oh, shit I looked at the chat <laughs> I bloody hell Thomas how are you brother Um, yeah, I did a, uh, uh, some of you might be aware that I did a, um, I drove a truck through these um, mountains, these mountains here, and it was fantastic. And I thought, I'll have a little bit of a look at it with a jet. And what better way to do it than a little bit of low level shit with the uh, FA-18. This is one of the recent uh, updates that Flight Sim had. It's a pretty cool representation. Let's skim this thing here. Ooh, get away from that mountain. Ah, uh, what do we got there? Oh, it's a tunnel. Better get over the top. And throttle down and pop it over the edge. Here we go. Woo! Look at this shit. And give it the throttle. Man, imagine doing this for real. My God. I wonder. Look. I wonder what it'd look like if I went inside the cockpit and had a little look. Okay. I can sort of relax a little bit here. Oh, hang on. No, I can't. I've got to rip around to the shit. Oh well, I hope left's good. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Oh man. It's bring, it, it actually is not a bad representation. Take some, some of you in there may have actually been down this road as well. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning through here. Couldn't believe it. Okay. Whoa, this doesn't look good. Wow. Pull it away. Back around. Whoa. I'm not getting a bit of a shit there from the FAA for doing this. Well, that's a tight one. I'll pull that up and get out of that mountain there. There we go. Pull it back out of that one. And we'll rip around to the right, I guess. that shadow it's throwing there that's brilliant oh man love it so I'm not uh, can you do a loop the loop with what backside 360 the backside alright be full of poo though mate because I'll tell you what let's have a little bit of a look inside the cockpit whoa that's a bit of a shit now I've lost the road text to speech services I don't want text to speech services anyway. It's a little bit quiet in here. I need to put the uh, radio on so I can listen to some tunes while I'm doing this sort of flight. Look, I'm getting out of there. I can't see where this road's going. Whoa! -ho -ho! Right, okay. Shit. Come on, pull up. That's it. Right around. Let's go a bit lower down this bit here. 
skim skim some surfaces. Oh, Captain Chanda Guts here. He'd have to be thrown up by now, seriously. Straighten that nose. Let's get that aircraft that way. Here we go. Ooh. I don't even know if this plane could actually do these maneuvers at this speed without falling apart. Who knows? I don't know. Well, shit, that's not good. Whee! <laughs> Bloody hell. Here we go, let's skim some shit here. Here we go. Lower, lower, lower. Bad scenery of this game, man. I'll tell you what, it's pretty good. Relax here for a little bit. Pretty responsive, this thing, let me tell you. That'd be. I'll tell you what, I'd really like to get into one of these, and, and obviously, I'd, I'd like to have a crack at flying one, just a bit of a, you know, who wouldn't? But uh, just the feeling of getting in one. I think Steve Carpenter's been in a Tomcat, I think, and he did a, oi, come on, there you go, um, and he did a um, uh, aircraft carrier landing, which would have been pretty cool, and takeoff too. I, does anyone know, is that Top Gun movie out yet? I, w I wouldn't mind seeing that, because they had to stop bloody um, filming it, didn't they, or some shit, because of this COVID crap at one point. Straighten that up, get down here, down and dirty, bitches. Here we go. Oh, how nice is that? Um, I think, I think that's the Colorado River that runs down here, um, and there is a rail line that runs along there as well. Is that a rail line there? Um, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Drop that altitude a little bit. So he's, look, I'll tell you what, if I've missed anyone in the chat, I'm sorry. Um, sort of got my eye on this thing for a little bit. Ah, look, it's just something different, isn't it? You know, it gets... Uh, come on. Here we go, straighten up. Here we go. Um, yeah, something a bit different to do. I don't mind doing it. I really like flying... Um, Flying low stuff. That's why I like flying the little tiny hawk freestyle. You know that thing. Um, oh, that canes along quite nicely. You know for a little drone. And um, I, I basically bought that one because the the tiny hawk two it uses the same batteries. So there wasn't an extra expense there. You know of doing that. I've been saying that too. I have seen some really. Whoop! Nope, that won't work. That's too fit. Too fast. Too fast. Too low. Too tight. There's no way I'm getting through there. Um, so yeah, I was using it, but in saying that, I, uh, I've got my eye on a few different uh, little FPV quads at the moment, which I, uh, they've got better cameras on them, you know. Look at that, through the cuttings, my god. Oh, that's just fantastic. I think, oh, 
What's the highway number? I think it's 80, I think. I know the 80 runs like east-west up the top there through. We'll drop this down here. Yeah. Um, run through Nebraska and all that, they're like the east-west 80 there. Um, I'm just wondering if it continues on out of Denver. I can't remember the bloody highway number. Dawn's gone, see it on. Uh, Top Gun comes out in May. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. I watched uh, the, uh, well, well, it was on YouTube, I think. It's got the, the making of it, or certain parts of it anyway. And, uh, oh, around there. Get around there, drop that into there, like that. Just bring it around, yeah. Okay, bring it up. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thing's pretty crazy. Here we go. This is why I used to like. Oh, let's pull that up a bit. This is why I used to like flying fixed wing because um, I very much, you know, uh, visual line of sight, you know, and you, you're flying so close to yourself and low level and all that sort of good stuff, and just hearing the things go screaming past you is fantastic. Most you've probably seen a fighter jet or something coming towards you at some point, and you can see them, but you can't hear them until they've gone past you. And the, the noise they make is incredible, absolutely incredible. Just flying jet engines, basically what they are, isn't it? Okay, folks, off to work. Ah, oh, see you later, uh, Michael. Good on you, mate. Off to work. Oh, that's right, yeah. Some people get off until, you know, like the... And they go back on the, you know, second week into January. Let's drop this down here, shall we? Have a bit of a look. I'm going to get with this flight because there's a few more mountains and stuff to go through yet. Um, I mean, you come out at the intersection there and that heads up to uh, Utah, doesn't it? On top of Arizona and is it Utah? I think it's Utah. anyone in the chat there who's uh, got flight simulator certainly come a long way since their first flight sim I've had flight sims for years 
a uh, couple of brands, you know, Flight 2 I think was one of them, um, and um, you want to get it Thomas, we'll go for a fly mate. Pull it around, I think this is where the east-west road split up by the looks, oh yeah, around there, come on, that's it. Oop, I'll have to pull out of that one. Drop her back down here. Oh, I'll have to pull out of this one too. That one goes right around that. Not as slow as going through the bloody pyramids that time, eh, Thomas? <laughs> I'm going to give you a call again, Thomas. I haven't spoken to you for a while, mate. Oh, come on. Get that altitude a bit. There we go. Is that the road? Oh, my God. I don't want to lose this road because if I do, I sort of like lose my bearings of where I'm going. No, this is right. Okay. Let's see where the road splits up like that. I don't know which one to follow. Oh, this one looks good. Shit. I wonder if I have to go to the left. No, I didn't plot a GPS path anywhere. I'm hoping to come out uh, through a place called Ridgefield. Uh, then I know I'm on the right spot. But I don't know. Don't know if this is the right way. Or is that broke off to the left? I've got to follow the river basically. So if there's a road there somewhere, I've got to follow that. It's heading uh, west. I'll just keep following that west, I think. And then I can't go wrong with the road as long as I follow that river. And hopefully the river doesn't split up. No! No, Thomas, I'm not. Uh, yet. <laughs> um, details are very good. Yeah, it is, mate. Yeah. And when you... Um, oh, look, you can really appreciate it when you get a bit of altitude and have a look through, you know, places like the, the Swiss Alps and, and places like that. Um, they're, they're bloody stunning. And what they've actually done um, is... Um, there's a few areas of the world which they've really concentrated on um, and the detail in these things are incredible absolutely incredible and this is what is it Bing Maps I think it is it's using it's not Google Maps it's Bing Maps um, but duh, 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 drone list can you crash yes you can crash it that's for sure and if you've got damage on you won't take off again but <laughs> I've actually um, crashed a, a, an aircraft oh, a while ago Anyway, and the, the bloody legs came down by themselves. Oh, legs, listen to me, I'm talking bloody Inspire here. Um, the landing landing gear came came down and um, I, I took off again. <laughs> but that's with damage off. Organised confusion, how are you, man? Uh, Ronald! Uh, I don't want to become one, man. Look, mate, I am one. Look at me, eh? I'll get you to your bloody next patient. Quick smart. Oh, those little slow helicopters you fly around in, mate. Come on. 
Mr. Lockwood, I've got to thank you for that Christmas Eve thing. That was absolutely fantastic, mate. We had a great laugh that night. Morning, morning, morning. Any drone list? Oh. Um, for those of you who just joined, I've just gone through the, uh, the Rockies there out of Colorado. And following out here, um, I think I've got through most of the, the difficult part. Beers and all, hey? Doesn't. You can't fly a drone if you... Oh, I can fly one of these if I've had a beer. Why can't I fly a drone? What's wrong with it? I can't pull, I can't pull anyone into the panel, Ron, so you'll have to stay in the chat, brother. Get some of these people who are in this chat on the um, on the Friday night live shows. So we can pop in and say good day. I hope this is the right road. Let's pull that around a bit. Here we go. Where is that river? Uh, Ron, you still got time off, mate, or you uh, you back at work now? Look at this. A few, a few family sedans there, pooing their pants. Aren't you? That's fantastic. Looking forward to seeing some of your stuff, mate. You ought to got some really nice uh, pictures out there. You must tell. You must tell everybody, though, Ron. Have you been in contact with the little uh, hot tub girl? <laughs> What's that major city in Utah? Um, I think it's Utah. Jeez, there's not much out here, is there? Where am I headed? West. Is there an eject button? I don't think there is. Oh, I would too. I don't think there is. I've pushed all. The, I've pushed all the keys over the, you know, couple of years I've had this sim, and nothing's ever rejected. That would be the coolest thing ever. I've uh, been keeping in contact with M Miss <laughs> Miss Hot Tub. Yeah, at least four more shifts before we get to go home. Four more. Huh? Four more shifts before you get to go home. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you still on holiday or you're back at work? I better watch what I'm doing. Pleasant. Okay. 
Okay. You know what I'm going to do? What do we got here? I might head. I'm actually going to look at my VFR. Let's have a look. Zoom out on that. Have a look. Have a little look see. south for a bit. I'll gain a little bit of altitude and we'll have a look at some have a look what it looks like from the air. I'll head towards those mountains again. Let's get some altitude going. Vertical speed, have a look at the vertical speed. 44,000. <laughs> Oh my god, that is ridiculous. I'll just drop that nose back over. Yes, it is, mate. It is. Um, yeah. <laughs> How can you get lost in one of these, uh, uh, Thomas? Uh, the uh, pinnacle of... Um, pinnacle of uh, you know technology let's have a little look around let's have a look around while we can chill out for a little bit have a look at this right that button there does that thing and that switch there does that other thing that's fantastic I love using those switches and then you go over to here and this switch over here does that and then um, that or especially that switch there that's the most important one that's the one I use all the time too <laughs> And let's have a look, look, look around here. Look at this. Use me wing. Look at that. Beautiful, mate. Yes, it is. So you've gone through the, the Colorado Rockies, as you can see there, um, and then um, ripped into Utah there. Great view, eh? Look at that. Magnificent. That's fantastic. What a view. Uh, what am I altitude? Oh, 25,000. That's okay. So, yeah, pretty good. As I said, it's using Bing Maps. So, it's, you know, the Bing Maps re representation. Um, and all of this uh, graphics here is online. So, it depends on how good your internet speed is, um, as to how good your graphics are going to be. Um, and I've got some pretty nice internet speeds here. So, um, I, I've got everything set on ultra for this, um, which does a really good job. Let's have another look, see if, he sp see if he spewed up. Let's have a look. Have you got anything in your face mask there, mate? What's that pink thing on the front? Mm. Look at that, he's still conscious too. Oh, mate. Actually, you're right, Thomas. Let's see if I can push that red button. Ooh, what do we got here? Canopy. Uh, okay. Landing gear, no, I don't want to do that. Canopy, canopy jet. Push to jet. Inoperative. Oh! Thomas! I can't do it. <laughs> Inoperative. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. That would have been so cool. Oh, bugger. If you go further west into Nevada, prostitution is legal. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Let's see if that comes up on my GPS. Whorehouse. <laughs> Bloody hell, Ron. It's a family show. Not a really 70s. Uh, okay. 
drop that throttle a bit. Just nick this back down. Probably wouldn't fly it like this under normal circumstances. The bunny ranch. <laughs> Good stuff, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, it'll be interesting, actually. I haven't never tried to land one of these yet. So, I wonder, I wonder if I can do this. You're right, Thomas. Now I've got no idea where that road is or where there's an airport. Can you blow some shit? <laughs> you can't do anything, mate. You can't launch anything. There is a, um, there is a, a sim you can put on your computer and it's totally free uh, digital D DCS digital uh, combat simulator um, and I, I it, it's totally free um, and you can um, uh, you can get into dog fights and all that sort of crap and start blowing shit up which would be really cool um, and I only found out about that one the other day River Mountains where I used to fly in helicopters go to Elko God, where the hell's Elko, dude? Where the hell is Elko? I'm going east. I go south. Let's get through these mountains here. Ooh, mama. On my other flight sim, Ron, um they've got missions and one of them is a helicopter mission and you've got to save a got to save a, uh, a heap of uh, campers that have been stranded on a uh, mountain top you got to go up there and go get them um, it's a pretty hard mission actually but look at the reflection off the water god damn really that's pretty cool West of Utah, Utah Nevada border. Run an instant app. I thought it was the 80. Yes. Okay. So you go through Richfield and you come down to that intersection. I've been to that intersection, so it's uh, just west of the Utah Nevada border. Okay. Right. Well, I've lost the 80. That's gone. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that went. I was following that in the Colorado River because that's the road that I used to get out. And I have been to that because uh, you go to the t oh you go to the tip of Utah, don't you? And then go into Arizona as you come out the end here. That's right. Yeah, mate. Yeah, the the eighty. The eighty went. I think Roadworks got me and they pulled it up so I lost it. I'll blame the Roadworks. But I tell you what, um, as you head, in, head into Arizona, the scenery is absolutely stunning with the size, just the size of the bloody mountains, man, and red. Unbelievable. Just like the westerns you see in the movies, man. You could land at Bonneville Speedway. And then uh, the great world speed records. Oh. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm setting up bloody record myself here. Yeah. yeah, okay, because I've seen them do that. That's some crazy shit, that is. My God. Adjacent west would be there. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, mate, we're always talking about the 80. I was on the 80, hey. I followed the 80 all the way through the Rockies. Oh, look at this, a main road. Whoop! Let's go spew up. Yeah. Pulling some Gs here. Major. Starting to feel a little bit woozy. Oh, I'm going to black out. I'll straighten up and get those Gs back. Thank you. Right, where is... Where'd that road go? Oh, here we go. Oh, there's an airport. Holy shit. Should I try and land it? What do you reckon? Oh, my God. Let's drop that down. Where the hell did that airport go? Probably 20 miles behind me now. Let's turn it around and have a bit of a look. Where did that runway disappear to? Here it is. Holy shit bags. I'm still doing 330. I can't be putting my flaps down now. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let's go here. Let's have a little bit of a look at it. Righto. Alright, I'm going to try and land this thing, man. They're so touchy. Really touchy. I'll just pull that speed back a bit. Fly out. Oh, about to that V out there, I think. It'll give me some good... If I come back level with that. Roadway. Pull that speed back down, boy. Pull it down. There we go. Turn it around. And about here. Let's see. Put a little bit of flap down. There we go. There we go. There's the runway. Right, okay. Here we go. Now it starts to get floaty. Oh my god. Alright. And don't forget the landing gear, landing checklist. Here we go. This is so hard. There's the runway. Drop that speed again. that speed, come on. Oh, mama. Holy moly, Batman. Whoa, doing a bit of a broggy. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> it looked alright for a while. Then it didn't. <laughs> That's crazy shit. My god. Hey! That's gonna stall. It's not gonna fly like that. Here we go. We'll be able to take off now. Oi, surely. Here we go. Got a bit more speed. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a weird, weird thing to do. Let me tell you. The, the landing was okay, and it's just when I put the brakes on, it just flipped out on me, man. Damn. Disaster. Yes, it was. Air crash investigation, please explain. Where am I going south? Here we go. Let's get some speed back up again. Oh, see the legs, the, the landing gear comes down. What? As soon as you touch the ground. That would have been another disaster, by the way, peoples. Yeah, well, like, well, see, that's the thing, you know. Um, low levels, just like driving trucks. Except it's a little bit slower than how I drive my truck. But, you know, I'll get there. Oh, 
come around, come around. That's it. Up, up. Do a more than spit and coke out if you got the plane with me, mate. Let me tell ya. Let's get that thing back down there. Hello. Come back around. There we go. Disappeared again. Hang on, the road went that way, but I just saw the road go the other way as well. What? This thing's crazy. I do like, I do like it when it throws that shadow on the ground of the aircraft. It looks really, look like that there. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Wow. I'm going to go land this thing now. I'm going to land this again and see what I can do. Alright, so lined up there, just where that green patch is there. That'll be the runway there. Take a little bit wide. And then we'll just bring it back around again. Get that airspeed down, I'll tell you what. There's a brake on here somewhere, I think it's that one there. No, it's not. Okay. Speed brake's always a good thing. Oh, here we go. Talk about stalling. That is stalling. Oh my god. Flat spin! Now, where'd that runway go? Man, I should have I should have looked to see where my speed brake was because I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, reduce throttle. I'm trying, mate. Oh, this is way too quick. Way too quick. Whoop, a little bit short. Yeah. Okay. See, uh, this is where I need the. Um, Speed brake. Here we go. Uh, gotta love that. Woo! And there we have it. My goodness, my goodness. Bloody hell, what a flight that was. Hang on to it, eh? Look at the clean lines of this aircraft. Magnificent. Wow. I love that. Really do. That's really nice. Still have a heap of bloody runway to go too. Not, not too much, but anyway. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, dear. All right, well, that was a quick little flight, eh? Quick little flight. Just to have a little bit of a look what's going on. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream 
um, and uh, I might do another one of these later. Any suggestions by anybody uh, about where you want to see a flight, maybe um, somewhere really nice, whatever, somewhere you've been, and then you can check out the um, uh, the representation on Flight Sim to see what it actually looks like in real life, you know, you've got some sort of a picture in your mind. What's the matter, Thomas? You've <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have thrown up too, mate. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but look at oh jeez, look at that, and I'm right. Look at that white line right down the guts of that those front wheels. Jeez, I'll tell you what. Look out, top gun out the pilot seat. Yep, that's right there, Bob. Bob, we got to go for a flight, mate. I know you got flights in. Um, did you see that landing, mate? Did you see that landing, Bob? Right in the right in the centre there. Hey, hey. Beautiful. Oh, there, Bob didn't last long, did he? Hi, Bob. See you, Bob. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know Bob's got the flight sim, and we're always going to go for a flight. But, um, see you, Mike. Thanks for popping in, man. Have a bit of a look at this. Whatever the hell it was, to be honest. I don't know. It was uh, a bit of fun, that's what it was. Um, yeah, I know, so Bob's, Bob's got it, so um, we should have... Uh, you missed the first lane. Exactly, Bob. Come on. Bob, 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 Bob. No, actually, Bob hasn't got it. You haven't got flights him, have you, Bob? I thought you, for some reason you did. Well, that might be... That might be Brian, b -Mac. No, Bob. Look, does that look like a crash landing to you? No. Sure, I have. Oh, for three minutes. Oh, ha, 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 ha. sorry. You, you know what, Dad? Your luck, mate, with my live streams is impeccable. Um, you, you can either come on, you can't come on. Then when you are free, you can't come on. Then you step away and you come back. And I've done this absolutely sp splendid landing right down the guts of the runway and um, I passed my test so now I'm officially absolutely nothing look at his spew bag it is full look at that it is chock-a-block you poor bugger I just put you through some hell there well done son you survived um, hey thanks Rodney cheers mate indeed yes indeed Dan yes indeed um, all right so well, I'm gonna leave this uh, leave this now and um, thanks for popping in, having a bit of a look around. And uh, well, I'm on I'm, I'm gym show tomorrow. So uh, is it tomorrow, Wednesday, Tuesday night for you? Yes. Um, so yeah, gym show tomorrow. So I'll pop in and say good day there too. Oh, is that a speed break up there? It bloody is too. I must have pushed them. Where are we? God damn! Must have come on automatically because I didn't do that. That's what you want. It's a good thing. And it, not even a scratch. Exactly. <laughs> That's the ideal scenario, isn't it, mate? Hey. Hmm. You fly backwards into uh, sensors on the front stop you from crashing. You know it's that uh, the obstacle avoidance that these aircraft have. <laughs> um. You yeah, only need ten miles of one way to land. Yeah. 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 Well, I do, mate. Lucky this was a long one. Otherwise, I would have overshot that one. I couldn't find my speed brake, brother. I don't know where the hell it was. My goodness. Yeah, I will do, uh, Dan. I will do, mate. Uh, but anyway, as I said, um, I'm going to leave now and um, I'll leave you, uh, gentlemen, to your uh, evenings or mornings, actually, days or whoever's doing what, where, and how. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll hopefully I'll see some of you on gyms tomorrow and again on the weekend. The weekend! The Friday night normal crud that I do. All right, folks. Thanks very much for joining, and uh, I'll catch us all again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.